Now, I don't usually talk about these type of things because it, I just kind of don't care. And there's nothing wrong with caring. And when I'm talking about, you know, as the wrestling fans who get on WrestleTix and how are the sales doing and, you know, the guys who go to arenas and take photos of crowds and stuff, that, there's nothing wrong with being that kind of fan. I'm not. So that's why when I podcast, I don't ever talk about those things. I don't talk about how ticket sales are doing. You know, I might talk about it a little bit here and there, but um, obviously I want impact to do shows that do well. I want good attendance for pay-per-views, television, impact plus or TNA plus, you know, but I am going to talk about this, this one time because this, you know, is, is really going around and I'm hearing podcasters who don't even talk about impact, talk about this. And it's the tickets for hard to kill, which hard to kill it could be better. It's obviously not as bad as Snake Eyes. I don't have Snake Eyes numbers here in front of me, but I have hard to kill ones. These were updated three, four days ago, something like that. Um, available tickets, 533. The current setup is 1180. Tickets distributed, 647. So we've got 533 available. And the graphic I'm looking at in the course of seven days says 84 tickets sold. So if we're doing the math, roughly a month until hard to kill, they should be able to move 360 of those tickets, you know? I don't expect the show to sell out. I expect it to hit capacity because they're going to put people in the seats, I can assure you. But someone had asked me on a mailbag episode if hard to kill was going to sell out, and I said I don't see how it would because it took Bound for Glory almost a year to sell out. And... You know, I, I've been saying since, you know, August, September, October, hey, at the end of the year, Impact phones it in. And they've had hard to kill shows that they have promoted very, very little because they've relied on. Um, obviously, there was no one in the arena, but as far as sales go, you know, they relied on, well, Kenny Omega's coming or they relied on it was the very first hard to kill. So there was a lot of excitement over that. They've had something to fall back on, right? And they don't have that this time around. But they think they do. They think they have the TNA name change. And then that's all it takes. And here we are. The pay-per-view's in about 30 days, roughly. We have two matches announced. And they're not matches that are and that has anyone jumping out of their seat. Because they're matches that we can see on on the weekly show. You know, uh, which majority of shows, more, majority of matches are like that. Don't get me wrong, but I'm just making a point. There's nothing that's saying, hey, let's go. Let's go there. Let's go to hard to kill. And, um, you know, as a resident of the Vegas area. The Palms and Samsung Casino are separated by like 25 minutes. <laughs> yes, the Palms is in a better location, but just because it's on the strip where Samstown Casino is not, it, it that just doesn't automatically mean we're going to have a sellout. And I think that's how they approach this. I think they got people very excited about the Palms. Um, and before I, I, I get into sounding too negative, they're going to be okay. I, I fully believe that by the time Hard to Kill gets here, even if they're comping 100 seats, 200 seats, like we're going to be okay. It's not going to be a show where there's no one there. I think some people are very concerned that that's going to be the case. Now, Snake Eyes the next night, we'll get into that here in a second. But I think that I, I, I feel that because they're in a bit of a better location, they felt that that was going to be a bigger draw. Samsung Casino is not that far from the Strip. And it's a cheaper hotel. So if you're not... Packing out Samsung Casino when you're doing television tapings there, you're not going to just pack it out because you're at the Palms. You understand what I'm saying? I think they relied on that a little too much. I think they relied on, hey, we're going back to TNA. That should do the trick. Now, I did watch that IPWF show. It was better than the previous ones. It's still not very good in my opinion, but I would be okay if they play that on Thanksgiving every year. I'm not okay with a Thanksgiving episode and then IPWF. 
and then a few Mexico tapings that have nothing to do with anything, which, you know, I enjoy the episode. And then we're going to get the best of. Where are we building the momentum to hard to kill? I've already talked about this in, in other uploads. But, you know, you go on social media, their latest, and YouTube is not social media, but it's one of their platforms. Their latest upload is, what's John Moxley doing in TNA? Okay, like this is continuing. They are continuing to use YouTube, social media to talk about people who used to be there and don't care about them anymore. And it's just like, man, I, I, I've been asking since I started podcasting for the company to be more forward thinking. And I've used the example like the WWE has the best wrestling library in the world. And they're not, you know, on this day, Hogan slammed Andre, you know, like. You know, they're very forward thinking. So I think hard to kill is going to be OK, but but clearly they took a strategy into it that isn't really working. And with Snake Eyes, I don't know the exact sales. I, I know it's about at the most half of what hard to kill is at the moment. I think they felt, hey, people are, are already going to be in the area, so they're going to go the next night. Snake Eyes tickets are the same price as hard to kill. I should be getting into Snake Eyes for damn near free. I should, you know, I, I just bought a general admission ticket for that night. I should be paying 10 bucks for that. Not the same thing I paid for Hard to Kill. Well, I didn't pay that for Hard to Kill. I paid uh, for a third row, but the prices are all the same. For a TV taping, it should be damn near free. If it's in conjunction with a pay per view. So it it's, um, it's a weird strategy. It hasn't worked. They've announced Okada and Osprey for Snake Eyes, and I'm sure that will be helpful. But it's kind of a bad sign when you know the majority of the people are traveling out here for this show, and they're not buying tickets for the next night. And with this slow promotion that they're doing, you know, people do have to travel. They have to buy plane tickets. They have to book hotels. They can't do that at the last minute. Now, granted. Traveling to Las Vegas is not the most expensive thing in the world. It, it, they're relatively cheaper plane tickets, especially in January. Uh, after the holidays are over, travel here is not expensive. But that doesn't mean people don't have to plan and take off work. And, and you know, you still have to not buy hotel tickets at the last minute. And I just think there are very nonchalant too cool for school with this whole thing instead of really treating hard to kill with a sense of purpose they just said hey we're, people will come because we're going to be tna and you know when they announced osprey and okada i think they did a good job with that the way they did it and when they did it you know but it, but and at least we know who their opponents are but it's like we still know very little about these cards they're just trying to sell tickets on name value alone. And the reason it's not working is because they've done so many rebrands before. And I think this one is going to be different, but they've done so many before that people are like that. We've already seen this before, you know, we're not going to just chase the new name. So I do think it's going to be okay. I, um, people are very concerned that the tickets aren't going to quite get there. It's going to happen slow. Um, if they tell you what to sell out, they're bullshitting you. <laughs> but I, I think that they will move move the tickets one way or another. As as I said, like probably comping 100 seats or so. I think they're going to get there to the attendance that they want. But they're definitely going to pad the numbers because uh, they've given people no reason. Like outside of the first week, people haven't really been purchasing. And I've talked about many times about the 70-30 marketing concept. You know, 70% of your energy should be towards the people who are going to show up, going to buy it. And 30% has to, how can we get, you know, how can we build some outside buzz? How can we get some other people to take notice? Can you say that they've done that 30% for hard to kill? You cannot honestly say that. For Snake Eyes, you, you, you probably could. But for hard to kill, which is more important, 
they haven't, unfortunately. But again, I do think they're going to be okay. I don't think there's anything to worry about. It's going to be a good show, even though we don't know who the hell's wrestling on it. I mean, we're people are dying for information about this show. People, are, who's going to, what matches, you know? Right now they're teasing we're just going to get a, a rematch of the Rascals and the ABC. So, I mean, you're just still not hooking people in. And then you got to get people to buy the pay-per-view. So you're lagging on what you got to do to move tickets. And, but you still got to get people to purchase it on, on fight or whatever it is. And I will, I will say this in closing that uh, I did get an ad on Facebook for the first time. And I used to live in Florida. The first time I received an ad on Facebook promoting an impact event, it was, it was, uh, it was generated by the palms. It wasn't by impact, but it was like, you know, Hey, TNA hard to kill at the palms, like, an actual ad trying to reach out and get you to purchase tickets. I had never seen seen that in the, in the history of my fandom. And like I said, I'd lived, I lived in Florida, you know, I never saw Jack shit promoting the show. So, um, that, you know, that's what, that's all I got to say in closing is that, uh, I think they're relied have relied too much on, Hey, we're going to be TNA. That's going to sell the tickets. Um, uh, but I do think they will be okay. So do not fret.